everyone welcome back to my channel seeing you after a long time today i am here uh, to tell the story tell a story related to english literature so i will begin okay there was a boy named yan he actually admires countryside province he loved to stay near country and uh, one summer he also gets a chance to stay with his uncle in the uh, village. He starts enjoying over there. Occasionally, he'll be helping his uh, uncle to run his village, inn. They'll be working in inn, hotel. And suddenly one day, the hotel's uh, best customer, yeah, best customer would be visiting. Then he'll think in his mind. And why there is such a fuss about this person? Who is he? And where is he from? Like that. And then, uh, that day evening, her cousin, his cousin, Amendin, her name is Amendin, and uh, she told Yannick that everything should be done properly as the best customer is going to visit. You know that? Best customer was going to visit uh, and uh, dine with his friends. Um, for some time and uh, he's uh, he, she also gave some details about him uh, like um, he came from a chateau it means chateau means like a, a, a castle castle from a big countryside castle French in the French language and uh, chateau and he came from the village down countryside village so now uh, uh, he got the question solved but he didn't get one question solved which he asked to Amendin that is uh, who is this person and uh, what is he famous for, for? What is he famous for was his question. But uh, Amandine, her, his cousin, I mean his cousin, sister, uh, she started off like uh, questions, always questions. She started, go fetch the logs. Means she told that always questions in my mind. Everyone will ask questions, only that. So she told in her mind, expressing someone like that. And uh, she told him to go take the locks and come. Then, uh, uh, after the famous guest, famous person, and uh, with his guests, uh, they after dining, after dinner, having dinner, they left. After uh, once they left, they started to clear the table, to clean the table, which means clean the table. And then uh, tablecloth. You know that as uh, all know that for eating, they put a tablecloth and eat. That tablecloth, uh, Yannick took it and scrunched it and thrown it into the fire, as usual. Means they always they would do this one itself. Uh, and then after some time, Yannick after once the Amindi saw that uh, this was happening, she went, uh, she ran past uh, Yannick. For some reason, she grabbed. Uh, Yannick is telling that some for some reason she grabbed the tongs. And try to remove the remnants, remnants of the burning paper. Remnants means like uh, uh, left out pizza pieces. The burnt papers, left out pieces, pieces from the fire. But she was actually too late, uh, so she could not do that. Then she turned to Yannick and shouted at, You fool! She shouted, You little fool! She told that, that person who, uh, who, was, uh, who just visited our inn, the famous person, he was an artist. He was an artist and uh, if he had liked the food that we had prepared, then uh, he would do a drawing on the tablecloth. Table cloth. It will be white color tablecloth, paper tablecloth. Uh, he will draw on that if he had liked the food made by uh, his, uh, them, made by them, the group. Then uh, actually, then she called him idiot and all those things after that. After that, uh, she was actually in tears by the time. She was crying. Then... Uh, after some time, Uncle Bruno, he is the father of the uh, Amendine, and for Yannick, he becomes uncle. So, Uncle Bruno came striding towards uh, Yannick and uh, uh, Amendine, and then he asked, What's happening here, Amendine? And Amendine replies, It's Yannick, Papa. He did this. He threw the paper tablecloth into the fire, which had a drawing in that, which is so precious to her. Then Uncle Bruno asks uh, a question to yeah, Amindi. That is, uh, did Yannick know that uh, he, the artist's way of sketching means like uh, how artist would sketch if he had liked the uh, 
uh, food that uh, made food uh, made by the group then he asked that then uh, actually um, yannick thought that amending would lie but actually she didn't do like that she just told that no papa then uh, uh, um who uh, bruno yanko bruno yeah he replies to yannick i mean amending that uh, then why did you just call, shout at yannick for something that was your fault exactly her fault right so she questioned he questioned her that why did you scold him for something your which was your fault then he told he asks uh, i mean in that right now in front of me tell so ask sorry to yan then she mumbled it but she didn't raise her uh, head like that like this just sorry like that mumble means like uh, something telling like uh, quickly something which makes makes uh, other people to hear, hear difficult we don't understand that that's called mumble and after that uh, I mean, he left an uncle Bruno and Yannick. Uncle Bruno put his arms around Yannick and uh, just told uh, Yannick, "Don't worry, nothing will happen. This is just a thing uh, happen over here. Don't worry. Don't even put that in your mind. Now always look at the bright side. And you know one thing. Uh, this is the main thing that the Bruno, Uncle Bruno, told to uh, Yannick. That is, the famous man who just visited our inn." like the cream brulee cream brulee means like um, ice cream in the french they prepare this is a special dish over there ice cream with uh, topped with some sugar sugar pieces then uh, this is the ice cream over there then um, he liked that the famous man who visited he ordered that and when he ate that he liked that so for something which he liked that he would draw so this one he liked and he draw the picture then uh, uncle bruno to explain yani that see this drawing just was made for you we asked in this this because uh, he had he had, um, yani only had prepared the uh, cream brulee what do you call it spells like c r e m e and uh, b u r u l e e double e this is that and um, and then uh, Uh, once uh, Uncle Bruno left uh, that evening, that evening, uh, Yannick, Yannick, after one, once he came out of the bathroom, he heard our sister cousin, uh, cousin uh, Amandine, crying uh, in her room. So he went in and uh, he asked Amandine, "Sorry, I actually did not make this uh, to have upset you. So I'm sorry. I'll not do this again like that." Then actually Amandine replied that in a good manner that. Uh, actually, this is not you, even your fault. I know that this is my fault because I didn't know. I didn't tell you that uh, this uh, like the artist way of sketching. So I just started off myself like by saying the questions only questions. So I'm sorry for that. It's my fault. And then now we will. They were both again once again. They were friends. The next morning, the Yannick he would have always go to walk in the next morning. In every morning he would go to walk. And the next morning, the same he had to do. He had to go for a walk upside, means like a, a mountain side like that, for walking. But uh, he went on the day he went to the chateau near the downwards of the mountain near the chateau, uh, where the famous man had lived to get a piece of drawing. So he went near the gate and stood for some time because uh, the people will be roaming uh, in that area. So let them go off. Then I will climb this and go. Uh, so after the some time, uh, Yannick. climb the gates easily enough it was very easy for him to climb and then what did he do he went near the trees and uh, slowly without disturbing anyone he did, he didn't uh, wanted to disturb anyone because it, uh, they will ask him what do like that then uh, after some time he could see uh, after going a little bit friend he could see a uh, old man old man sitting on a chair stair, steps and drawing sketching something over there sketching something so um, He thought that that was a man one uh, who came to our inn yesterday for din- dining with his friends. So he went near and asked, "Uh, and um, like the uh, young yeah, the old man, famous painter asked him that, uh, hi, how are you, man? Who are you?" Then the boy replied that, "Uh, I am Yannick," and uh, uh, um, he tells that. Are you the famous painter, famous master painter Cezanne? Cezanne is a master painter, actually. You know that. I think so. Cezanne is. It spells like C E Z 
double Z and uh, A and E is spelled like that. Suzanne. So, so now uh, after that he'll think uh, that he's Suzanne and then he calls him Suzanne because you don't know that properly even though he's Suzanne or what. So he calls him Suzanne first and then he asks him like uh, my mother always tells that you are the greatest painter in the world that this etc. He talked with him and then after some time when uh, he told that uh, he the old man replied that hmm, you are actually probably right for your sentences means like he wanted all yani told he replied that everything is correct yeah you have your mother is probably right because his mother said that he is the best painter right so only uh, he told to him your mother is very clearly wise you have a clearly wise uh, mother but uh, actually a clearly wise mother will not leave a lad Lad means like a child, small child. Lad out uh, roaming around and uh, coming here without uh, any without anyone permission or something like that. Then uh, Yannick actually came for getting a piece of drawing to replace the one that he had destroyed. So he tells that uh, he explained the situation that had happened night. He throwing the paper into the fire, everything went down I and mean, in that fighting. That and all scene he explained. Then uh, uh, he uh, who Susan yeah. Susan asks uh, Yannick that. Uh, yeah, Susan asks Yannick that. Uh, okay, I can uh, draw another picture for Bruno. But what did we, what did he like? Uh, but actually, then no, no, no. Better still, what do Yannick like? Means what do you like? He asked like that. So Yannick replied that. Um, I like sailing boats. Like that, Yannick replied. So can you draw sailing boats for me? He replied. Then the old man says that. Mm, I'll try," said with a smile in his face. So after that, uh, the uh, after that, he it not take uh, much time for him to draw. In, in middle while drawing itself, he asks a question to Yannick. Uh, where did you see the sailing boats? Uh, where did you live in Paris? Like that. Then the boy replied that I live in Paris and uh, I love sailing boats and I live in Paris. And he gave some explanation about that. Then the thing what happened is he the painting was over and he tore the page from the sketchbook. It will be like a so, so wooden uh, stand will be and upon that uh, the uh, book will be a book will be and then uh, on that you would draw it will be a A4 sheet something like that. He'll tear he tear he tore that once the drawing had finished. He tore that and uh, show it to uh, he showed it to Annie. He gave it to Annie and uh, see uh, is this good drawing like uh, for. Uh, Four uh, boats like uh, sailing on the sea, and beyond it, uh, one of the lighthouse, like that. And uh, actually, Yannick will get so shocked when he sees the picture because the picture was same as the one that he had seen in the Brittany. Brittany means it's a place in the northwest of the France. Yeah, in France, northwest, it be uh, one of the place called Brittany. In that he lived, um, and he had seen a situation like. like um, um, for sailing boat sailing and beyond it a uh, lighthouse was the same scene he remembered seeing it in a Brittany. Um, he told this to yeah, the old man, the famous painter. And then he actually observed one thing. After doing drawing, like for example, you did a homework and show it to teacher and the teacher gives a sign on that. Same way he also had given a sign. But in the sign it had to be written as a Cezanne. So, but what did it have to be written? It has written Picasso. It's a another Pablo Picasso. He's a, a another artist, but he was not as much good uh, in drawing as uh, Paul Cezanne. His full name is Paul Cezanne. P O U L P A U L. Yeah. And then, um, then uh, yeah, the boy asks. Uh, my boy means Yannick asks uh, the old man that, oh, you are Picasso, not Cezanne. I thought wrong of you. Sorry for that. And um, he tell, also tells that, um, then, uh, uh, okay, now thank you for this. Then the old man replied that, okay, no worries, uh, no worries, no, give this to uh, Bruno and let me see uh, how good it is. And then uh, he tells of, he added of, of you, go now, bye, so like that. And the same thing I will do to you now. If you had liked the video, please like, share, subscribe and also comments the good things that you like in this uh, story. So, see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.